From shattering records with the finesse of a seasoned maestro to captivating fans and foes alike with unparalleled grace on ice, the saga of Wayne Gretzky is one that always amazes me. This guy set the stage for a career festooned with 2,857 points, lifting the Stanley Cup aloft not once, but four glorious times, and rewriting the rules of the game with every flick of his wrist. So, as I take you through his story, you'll be left pondering what moments of Gretzky's legendary career ignited the spark of hockey passion in our hearts. Well, let's see. From the get-go, Wayne wasn't just another kid with a hockey stick. He was the Mozart of ice hockey, composing goals instead of symphonies. Born in Brantford, Ontario, it wasn't long before young Wayne was skating circles around the nation of a normal childhood. At the tender age of six, playing in leagues with 10-year-olds, he wasn't just keeping up, he was rewriting the playbook. It's as if he had a hockey stick in one hand and a magic wand in the other, turning every puck touch into a spectacle. His journey from the backyard rink built by his father, Walter, to becoming a household name was less of a straight line and more of a victory lap. By the age of 10, Wayne was not just playing, he was making headlines, scoring an astronomical 378 goals in a single season. While most kids were trying to perfect their cursive writing, Gretzky was perfecting the art of scoring. It was clear, even then, that Wayne Gretzky was not destined for a life of mediocrity. As Wayne's youth career progressed, it became evident that he was operating on a different frequency. He had an uncanny ability to see plays before they happened, making the ice his chessboard and every game a checkmate. This wasn't just talent, it was a prodigy in action, a living testament to what happens when potential meets unparalleled dedication. So, as we say goodbye to the early echoes of Gretzky's greatness, let's skate into the NHL, where legends are born and legacies are made. When Wayne Gretzky stepped into the NHL, it wasn't just an entrance, it was an invasion. In 1979, the Edmonton Oilers welcomed a skinny 18-year-old who looked more like he should be asking for directions to the nearest arcade than leading an NHL team. But looks could be deceiving. Gretzky didn't just play in the NHL. He came, he saw, and he conquered, setting the rink ablaze with his talent from the get-go. In his very first season, Wayne didn't just dip his toes in. He dove head first into the deep end, racking up an astonishing 137 points. That's right, while most rookies were getting acquainted with the pace of professional hockey, Gretzky was busy rewriting the rule book. He clinched the Hart Memorial Trophy as the league's MVP, an award that would practically need a permanent reservation under his name. Gretzky's initial impact was like a shockwave through the NHL. Here was a player who didn't just want to win, he wanted to redefine winning. Teams didn't just have to strategize on how to play the Oilers, they had to invent entirely new ways to try and stop Gretzky. But let me break it down for you. They weren't very successful. His presence on the ice was akin to a master chess player moving pawns. Except, in Wayne's case, the pawns were hockey pucks, and checkmate was inevitable, setting the stage for what would become a legendary career. Gretzky's entry into the NHL signaled the dawn of a new era, an era where records were not just broken, but shattered, where fans would witness the rise of a player who would become the very heartbeat of the sport. Mind-blowingly, this guy had a career so legendary, even the record books needed an update. If the NHL had a Hall of Fame for record-breaking, Gretzky would be its most illustrious native. No contest! Let's start with the basics. 2,857 career points. Goals? 894. Assists? A mind-boggling 1,963. But let's zoom in on the 1985-86 season, shall we? When Gretzky racked up 215 points in a single season. To put that in perspective, if points were miles, Wayne could have driven from New York to Los Angeles and still had miles to spare for a victory lap. This was not just a good season. It was a season that made other players consider a career in something less challenging, like rocket science. Gretzky's trophy case was equally impressive. The Hart Memorial Trophy? He might as well have had a subscription, winning it nine times. And the Stanley Cups? He collected four with the Edmonton Oilers, as casually as one collects coffee stamps at their local cafe. Comparing Gretzky to his peers and past legends is like comparing a hurricane to a gentle breeze. Sure, both move air, but one rearranges the landscape. 
Legends like Gordy Howe and Bobby Orr set the stage, but Gretzky expanded the theater, adding new wings, balconies, and a few luxury boxes. As we skate away from the dizzying heights of Gretzky's record-breaking achievements, let's pause and wonder, how does one even begin to follow that act? Wayne Gretzky's style of play was less about brute force and more about being a hockey savant. He was the chess grandmaster of the NHL, always three moves ahead of everyone else on the ice. Gretzky had this uncanny ability to see plays unfold long before they actually did, a skill that probably made the puck feel like it was a part of a grander scheme. His creativity? Off the charts! He didn't just play hockey, he was composing symphonies with a hockey stick, with each game a new masterpiece. But what truly set Wayne apart was how his personality infused into his style of play. Leadership? He didn't just lead, he was the North Star, guiding his team through the darkest nights with his work ethic shining brightly. His dedication was the stuff of legend, the first to arrive and the last to leave turning the ice rink into both his canvas and his workshop. And let's not forget his influence. Gretzky had this gravitational pull, not just on the puck, but on everyone around him. Teammates elevated their game, opponents were left in awe, and fans, well, they just wanted to be in his orbit. His presence on the ice was a masterclass in excellence, inspiring a generation to lace up their skates and chase their greatness. Then comes the hurdles that even legends have to leap. For Wayne Gretzky, the path wasn't always lined with red carpets and standing ovations. Injuries? He had a few. But like in any great saga, it wasn't the setbacks, it was the comebacks that defined him. Gretzky faced each challenge with the grace of a ballet dancer and the resilience of a heavyweight boxer, turning potential pitfalls into mere footnotes of his storied career. Rivalries? They were the spice in the Gretzky-era NHL stew. Battles against the likes of Marc Messier and Mario Lemieux weren't just hockey games. They were epic narratives, complete with heroes and adversaries, victories and defeats. These rivalries pushed Gretzky to elevate his game, proving that even the best can get better. But perhaps the heaviest weight was the crown of the Great One. The expectations were Himalayan, yet Gretzky skated through them like a downhill racer. Managing the pressure was part ballet heart science, and all heart. He embraced the spotlight, using it not just to illuminate his achievements, but to cast a glow on the sport he loved. Well, his legacy isn't just etched into the ice he skated on, it's woven into the very fabric of hockey itself. Beyond the dazzle of the NHL spotlight, Gretzky took on the mantle of hockey's greatest ambassador, spreading the gospel of the game far and wide. When he traded the icy expanses of Canada for the sunny vistas of Los Angeles, Skeptics raised eyebrows, but Wayne, he just raised the bar. Hockey in the United States bloomed in the desert thanks to Gretzky, transforming a nation of indifferent onlookers into passionate fans. But the Great One's contributions didn't hit the brakes post-retirement. No, Gretzky shifted gears, taking roles in coaching, management, and serving as the sport's global ambassador. Like a maestro conducting a symphony, he helped orchestrate the future of hockey guiding it with the same vision and finesse that marked his playing days. From hosting Saturday Night Live to popping up an animated form on The Simpsons, Gretzky proved he was as much a star off the ice as on it. His foray into endorsements was like everything else he did, legendary. Whether it was selling skates or soft drinks, Gretzky's name wasn't just a guarantee of quality, it was a cultural seal of approval. But how did a hockey player become a household name beyond the diehard sports fans? Simple charisma, authenticity, and a knack for being relatable. Gretzky wasn't just the guy scoring goals, he was the neighbor you wish you had, the kind of guy who'd lend you his lawnmower or his hockey stick, no questions asked. His influence stretched beyond the rink, making waves in charity work and community involvement, showing that greatness isn't just about what you do with a puck, it's about what you do for people. And there you have it, the extraordinary saga of Wayne Gretzky. But now I turn the ice over to you. Which of Gretzky's achievements stands out the most to you, and why? Share your thoughts and favorite Gretzky moments in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling dives into the world of sports. Stay tuned!